Long Beach. I'm Lisa Hopperton here in Bigsby Knowles at World Serpent Exotics. This is Long Beach Shorts. My name is Elric. I operate a reptile store in Big Spinoles in Long Beach, California. Uh, we're a specialty store. We sell lizards, snakes, turtles, and all uh, appropriate supplies for the animals. And can you tell me a little bit more about uh, this beautiful lizard here? Okay, well that's uh, Gretchen. Um, she's one of the uh, northern blue tongue skinks that we keep here as a uh, pet in our store. Uh, they're docile. They're omnivores. They're very intelligent, they're very long-lived. I can't recommend them highly enough as a pet. So what's it like to keep a reptile as a pet? Uh, it depends, it's sort of like saying what's it like to keep a dog. Um, different kinds of reptiles are gonna require um, different things. Some of the stuff's extremely easy to care for and some of the stuff is um, not. They're gonna have a variety of kitchen requirements, space requirements, and dietary requirements depending upon the kind of animal involved. How long do snakes live? Depending upon the snake, anywhere from 10 years to 50 years plus. And what about Gretchen? How long will she live? About 20 years. Owning a reptile store, I mean, that sounds like fun. Do you get to play with snakes and lizards all day? Um, I actually don't play with a lot of the snakes or the lizards. Mostly uh, the rules when you uh, work with animals, you uh, get bit, you get scratched, you change a lot of water bowls, and you clean up a lot of animal poop. And would you rather be bit by a snake or a lizard? A snake. And can you explain why? Um, snakes don't really have any crushing power. Not designed to grind or cut up or chew up something. The lizards' mouths are more like ours. <laughs> and as far as keeping lizards, what kind of a terrarium do you need for a lizard? And what's like the difference you would see between a lizard terrarium and a snake terrarium? Lizards are going to need a lot more space relative to their size than snakes will. A lot of the lizards require good quality UV lighting, which typically snakes don't need. A lot of lizards are omnivores, so as opposed to feeding it like a mouse, which is like the equivalent of a burrito, it has everything it needs in one package. A lot of times with lizards, you're balancing vegetables and different kinds of insects to round out the diet. And you said Gretchen was an omnivore, yeah. so she eats like... She's eating fruits and vegetables, all sorts of insects, fish, snails, worms, anything. She's not picky. What's her favorite? Snails. Snails. Shell and all? Shell and all. Wow. What is like the, the best starter reptile for a new reptile owner? Um, for snakes, ball pythons, corn snakes, rosy boas, sand boas. If you wanted something that's going to get big but not prohibitively large, boa constrictors are typically excellent snakes. Um, for lizards, bearded dragons are really the gold standard. Leopard geckos, crested geckos, again, blue tongue skinks, which I personally really enjoy. Um, those are all good choices. Thank you, Elric, for letting us you know, come into your store and look at all the reptiles, and I, I think they're beautiful. Snakes oh, and reptiles are, are just my favorite critters ever since I've been really young. I've loved snakes and reptiles, so, oh, thank, you. so thank you very much. You're, wel you're welcome, thank you.